Well, set up in my saddle on this little 40 acre piece of suburban heaven. There's tons of bucks on in here. Came in here for the first time today. Put a bag of draw out and put a camera right over here. I can't see where the pile is, but it's trail that comes through right here it goes out into this big open brush here and there's just I mean there's tons of rubs up through here I actually jumped two little bucks coming in here to get in this tree so the sign in here was too good to not sit the first night so weather's cool skies have cleared off um, got one more tag here in Georgia and it's early season but for the right deer I'd punch it bucks 80 yards as close as they got not bad for the first sit in here I can still see one of them right here I'm gonna have to go back and look at the footage but that the biggest one actually looked like a three-year-old pretty good sit for the first time bad. Still got a few more minutes of daylight left, so we'll see. Oh man. Not a bad night for a first sit. Just got back in the truck. Crank this thing up real quick. And uh four bucks, no does, but that one, I'm gonna have to go back and look at the footage. I feel like he's a three-year-old looking at him. Um, but he's really, I mean, he's like a 130 inch three-year-old. It's a big deer. Um, but we'll see, it's bow season. I got two kids that have never shot a buck either. It'd be a heck of a, heck of a deer for them. Anyway, we're gonna call it a, call it a night, head to the house look at some footage and check some cameras and go from there. Going out for the first, for my first day of the year and my dad saw some pretty good bucks yesterday. And we're gonna see if I can get one with my crossbow. Blow it up. All right. We're easing in here to the blind that I just brushed in today. We're gonna slip in there and see if Carson can't shoot one of these bucks that we saw last night. Get on the 
Dude, you just shot the big deal. Oh, I just shot the big deal. He walked out right there. <laughs> Freaking five yards. Holy cow. <clears throat> What's up, guys? <clears throat> so, we are going to see what the, the air looks like. Carson just shot the big 10 mm -hmm. and he literally walked eight yards from the blind that we just brushed in and he was hard quartering away but it looked like it got up in there we're shooting that rage tripan so it makes a mess we're just going to ease up here and see what the bolt looks like and go from there. That deer, you can see the blind right back there. And that deer walked out right here on this trail. I poured out a bag of roasted racks today and he was on it. Find the bolt. We found the boat. It went right through. It went about, I want to say yard to but I don't know how far it really went through. Oh, yeah, look at that. There's oh. blood all over. Yeah. Amazing sign right here, baby. I'm going to just leave it right here. I still think we ought to leave. Just because. Sign looks really, really good, but we got a small piece of property right here, um, and we're not going to push this deer. We're going to make sure he's got time to die. But I turned the knock off, but you can see there's blood all up that arrow. So we're going to get out of here. He made. And the next time you see us, we. We're going to be recovering a big buck. Oh, yeah. We think, well, I think he went right over there behind me. And he went about five, ten yards over there. More than ten, maybe. And then died. But, yes, that is amazing. My first ever buck is ten point. Huge body. Maybe 130. Hey, we're feeling good. You know? That's it. We have deer a couple hours to get settled and die. Now we're here to go track it. All right. Take him up there and show him the blood. Right here. So there's the racks. And the blood is immediate right there. Going through there. It's still looking fresh. He's still out there. Right now, right here. Where? Yep. still there. the brown bushes up here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right here in the tree. There's some right here, right here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you take a step, you find it, okay? Mm -hmm. See there, I see some yep, right here. Right here. Right. He's trying to lay down right there. Hey, yep. tell me. Tell me what you got so far. Got a good amount of blood. We've been like 30 to 50 something yards, I don't know. All right, I keep going. Tell. Keep following. We're going to turn. That's where you need the next clue at now. Two from the middle blood. Blood right here. Ooh. Good blood. I think he turned and went behind you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh man, look at all that. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. Oh, look at that. 
Just walk around that pine. He went around that pine. <laughs> Good Lord at the blood. Holy God, look. He's got, I bet he didn't go far. All that blood. <laughs> Dude, what have you done? Holy crap, Carson. Pick his head up. Oh, man. <laughs> Carson, sit down behind him. Dude, look at me. Dude, what do you think? That's a stud. That is a stud. Point his nose out that way, Carson. Point his nose like you did to get that man. <laughs> yes, dog. What do you think? What do you say? Thank the Lord. <laughs> That's one thing I gotta say, and thank my parents and all the other people who came out here and let me kill this deer. Dude, I'm so proud of you. That's a stud. And on video, we tell Mr. Jimmy for coming out here and helping thank us. You. Boom. No track, no tracking dog needed. How about that? We had them ready though, didn't we? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's right, I'm so proud of you, buddy. That is a hoss. That is a great buck right there. And that is a nice one. I mean, he's a young deer, like we talked about. And typically, you know, on some big, big woods, you know, this is the kind of deer that you want for your future. Great genetics, I mean, he's almost perfectly symmetrical. 10 pointer, good beams, but this little suburban property right here, this may be a, where we're standing, This we may be eating at a restaurant here next year, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, and heck, you've never shot a buck before, your brother's never. never shot a buck before, so this is a great deer. Man, I'm so proud of you. That deer was quartering away and you just tucked it right up in there. Uh, and man, it exited right where Mr. Jimmy said, you know, we asked him, he just lives right up the road and they, you know, Jimmy and Timmy run Outer Banks uh, deer tracking and do a great job and have done it for a lot of years. They got a lot of experience, but uh, you always, when you're this deep in it, you know, got your young and killing his first buck, you always want to get some help. And I called him to just rely on his experience and send him the videos and we've been talking back and forth for the last couple of hours and you know we agreed that we felt like it was a good shot and this deer wasn't going to go that far and I mean it's it's exactly what we thought the exit's perfect I mean that that uh broadhead opened him right up and the tracking was I mean so easy a nine-year-old could do it <laughs> that's right that's right so, so anyway man. man I'm hey right here dude I'm so proud of you buddy and your older brother's not going to be real happy with us, but, you know, it's his turn next, all right? All right, let's get him out of here. That's perfect.